Good morning everybody and welcome once again to my humble abode. Today I'd like to cover three things if I've got enough time. And I think I shall start with the Evoke FTB Utilities mod. This is added when you see, if you press it, you get your inventory up and you see here on the right, on the left hand side, you'll see these icons and these have come from the FTB Utilities. And this one it is actually quite interesting. If I click this here, you'll see the three players in the top left hand corner. And if I, for example, select myself here, right click and do claimed chunks, I can claim chunks for myself. So I can say these are my chunks. So, for example, let's do that. I'm going to find this. Two, maybe it's easier if I put it up here on this one. And simply right click to remove them. So that's just at the top by the piece. So let's go and have a quick look at that. The reason I'm telling you all of this is because my the children were playing on the server and somehow they managed to add into the server the um, some claiming some bits. I didn't know what was going on. So where is it now? Let's have a look. Is it here? No, I can't see it. Let's try again. Uh, if I do it, let's just do it straight in front of me there. And if I walk into that, now you see on the top right hand corner, there's a little uh, ooh, pull down or drop down that comes into the screen saying wilderness. And if I turn around and go that way, it says buddy voody. So that means this chunk has been claimed by buddy voody. And I think the colour green means it's okay, I can do things like destroy things. Uh, like that for example but if it's blue you can't and that's what happened to me so let's just clear away this chunk so and you can also do some, do this on the server to remove chunks which have been claimed for all for example one player but that's a different thing the next thing I would like to talk about very quickly is these I'm intending to use these solar panels and they're made let's go and have a look how they're made I've got some automatic crafting for those so if I look for solar panels you'll see here I've got two resident solar panels and if I make another one of these craft one it tells you what it actually requires so, so ultimately it requires 2076 uh, iron ingots, 2000 sand, and so on and so forth. And these are the, the raw materials where the, some of these are coming from lapis 900. It also needs quite a lot of capacity, and I've got no CPUs available for this at the moment. I'm not sure why. Well, the other one is if you go to the, you can actually make this up from smaller ones. So, for instance, the next one tier down was the redstone solar panel, and the next on that one, and this I can craft. So you can see here, I can say, let's craft one of these, and it'll go off and it makes it. Do another one. If I've got any more CPUs, I think the main CPU is busy for some reason or other. And you'll see the number of items. And then, of course, what's nice about these, if I go to the recipe for the resonant solar panel, it's simply eight redstone solar panels around a resonant solar core. And that's true for all of these solar panels. So the next level up is the advanced solar panel. And ultimately you've got the ultimate solar panel. And that actually generates 32k RF per tick. Quite a lot of power. And it can transfer at 65. And the ones I'm using tend to be using are the resonant ones, which has a generates 512 and transfers 1000 but I've also got one of these here which generates 4k of RF per tick and I'm using those quite a lot especially the bees and also I've got a a quarry so let's just go up over here so I think the quarry is over by the bees quickly fly over to it there we go oops oh, that wasn't really clever was it let's go and get my sword again yeah. 
program. The actual core is quite large. It's uh, a 37 about three times 64 blocks, and this is simply querying away and sending the stuff to a tesseract. And here I'm using three solar panels, and that's supplying it. It's quite a lot of power. Actually, it's, this is actually limited to 1,000, but we know that this can actually contain more than that, so it works night and day. Let's go back to the bees. I can't jump to those yet. I'm too far away. 128 is where I can actually start to go to those. Here we are. Right. And also, I've set up, if I go to the farm, to the farm yard here, I've also set up a, a, a huge, rather another uh, lightning conductor because I thought that here I've got some redstone bees they're called excited prin they're excited princesses and these are producing redstone comb I think it should produce more actually but it probably needs chunk loading but I haven't done that so and it, and these actually have one of the properties of these let's have a look at that first of all it is Oh, I haven't got one out. I need to take one out of here, don't I? I'll take a stack of 64. Where's it gone to? Here we are. So number five. It has this effect called lightning. And what that does is it generates lightning. And they've been genetically modified to be fairly tolerant to all conditions. There we go. I've just been hit by lightning. Better at night time, you can see it better. And I thought they would actually charge up these, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to. I think that's just been caught by natural lightning. So, without further ado, let's go and have a look at what I'd like to do today. What I'd like to do today is create a few more bees. Now, let's go and quickly have a look over here. There are one or two interesting bees. I'm just going to change my sword over because one of these is producing spiders and I think it's this one, the spidery drone and it produces spiders quite quickly actually and it attacks you quite hard here I've got some diamond uh, bees which are producing diamond comb here I've got some barren which are arid, are basically arid bees and they're actually an intermediate one again and here we've got the big bad drone so the big bad drone Let's have a look what he does. I get attacked while I'm doing this, of course. It has a howling property. So very fast pollination speed and a very sh and a shorter lifespan. Produces two bees. In fact, the spidery one's actually much more interesting. Let's go to the spidery one. In fact, I'll leave a couple in there. And the same here as well. I've already got two in, good. This one is producing chickens, meat, and other, quite a few interesting proper things it produces. Let's have a look what it does. There we are. So, the big bad. This one isn't so tolerant. I didn't uh, genetically modify it fully yet, but it has furtive comb, raw chicken, raw beef, and it produces also melon. Quite an interesting bee. This one, has a very large territory, its effect is spidery, and it's fast, I think this is genetically modified and its pollination, street, pollination speed is faster. And it produces spider, string and spider furtive comb and spider eye. It also produces spiders. What else can it do? In fact, no further mutations Okay, and the big bad drone has one. Interesting. I've been attacked by a spider. That's really weird. So far, to, so far, I've been attacked by spiders lots and lots of times. So what I've done is set up a tesseract here to take the power. And here I'm using one advanced solar panel. I think it is. 
and that's quite happily keeping up with the power requirements for these 10 industrial apiaries and some of them are quite reasonably expensive especially when it's got uh, I think the genetic stable there is yes doubles the power requirements lifespan shortens it so you produce more bees and you produce more output ultimately I don't want to do that but for the intermediate stages I think it's good and here we've got some emerald comb from an emerald bee so today I'd like to produce hopefully a nickel bee but maybe not maybe just produce um oh, oh there i can have a spider where's he gone to because there shouldn't be any any mobs created here because of the magnum torch wherever it's gone to there we are oh, what have you I have a magnum torch here. There we are, there's a magnum torch. And in fact this one here is a um another anchor. I think they've taken out like, one of the, the world uh anchors, the chunk loader, sorry. So this is a chunk loader from Mine Factory re Reloaded and this requires essence, which I've got plenty of, and power. And it's also got plenty of that as well, I think. So that should keep this area chunk loaded. I don't know how big it covers. Anyway, let's go back to the the genetics lab, as it were. So, today what I'd like to produce is a platinum drone, which is m produced by making a nickel and an invar. So let's have a quick look at that. So, platinum. So here's the platinum queen, and that's produced by an invar and a nickel princess. And an invar is produced by a nickel drone and a ferris princess. And a ferris princess is produced by an illustrious bee and a common bee. So we did those before. But I've also extracted the genes out of here. Let's have a look how we do that. So for example, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to put these two genes into this gen genetic template. And first of all, the first very first thing I want to do is copy the two genes. So let's do that first. So let's copy these two genes here. That requires genetic transposer, a blank gene sample. So now I've got one blank gene sample and one gene. And I want to do the same again for this one. So this was the ferris. And this one's the cultivated. So I've got the two here now. And I'm going to put those onto the genetic template. So put that into here. I can't shift click, of course. This is my ferris. This one wants to be a cultivated. And now I've got a cultivated. And they return back the blank gene samples again. So what I now need to do is I shall put away safely these two gene samples the ferris and the cultivated keep these two templates with me and let's put into here those two blank gene samples and I think we will take the big pad drone and that uses one genetic slabware plus one gene sample and produces for us a gene sample and after a certain number of times you should get fertility two all those useless ones first of all this is actually the bit ah oh, we got the effect howling that's a new one i haven't got that before territory average what I do with these genes once I've got one it's interesting so I put them into this chest here so I've got different here I've got a, f a food type day and night cave dwelling I think I might and here's the effects so I've got none water beautif beautific lightning creeper aggressive and this one is going to be howling so put this into this pattern there what else have we got now we've got howling again and we've got fertility two again and then 
when I've got five of these, I put these into here, or four, and then they basically get into this hopper. The hopper goes, gets fed into the redstone furnace. They get cooked. And they come straight out into this chest here, which I can then take them out and put them back into here. So again, another fertility two. Tolerant flyer falls. We get quite a few useless ones. And eventually we'll end up with something that we actually do want. Like the species is very useful to have because you can then mini. Once you've got one species gene, you can produce as many of those type of beans, either as a princess or as a drone, as many times as you want. And that's what I'm going to do next. Hopefully, so I've got five here which I already got before. So let's put those into the hopper. And let's see what happens. We've got territory average. In fact, I don't think I'll do this on camera. I'll leave it. And eventually I'll get a species out of here. Effect howling again. And right. So what I need to do now. It was the platinum drone, wasn't it? So let's have a look at that. The platinum drone requires a ferrous, a nickel and an invar. A nickel's made from a, a ferrous and an esoteric. An esoteric I've already got, so what we're going to do now is to, oops, is to jump on here and I need to first of all get two ferrous princesses. So let's do that. This is the genetic imprinter. And here I've got the ferrous template. And I shall put these two princesses in here, and I'll end up with two pristine ferrous princesses. And here I've got an esoteric drone, which I'm now going to mutate. I think I might even have to do this twice, actually. So here we have a ferrous princess. And it has all the properties from the um, Rocky Drone, uh, where the Rocky Princess I put in there. In fact, it actually looks like it's been modified because it's up two up and two down. Flies at night, during the day, and it also flies in the rain. And it should also fly in caves. So, now, come along here, let's mutate this. Actually, it's quite good fun doing this, I'll be honest with you. And here we have a Nickel Queen. So what to do with a Nickel Queen, I click on that. Then the Nickel Queen will come out here. I need a Nickel Drone. For the Inver, I need a Ferris Queen and a Nickel Drone. And the Nickel is the one I've just produced. So, the next thing I'm going to do is check this one out. And I will genetically modify this bee. So let's have a look. It's pretty nearly always got one offspring. It's got no effect and it's slow. It's got a shorter life. That's fine. The output uh, not only will work during the day and night and in caves, that's good. And its output is a ferrous nugget, which of course would be what you'd expect from a, a nickel queen. So now we need to take this nickel queen and put it into one of our. Um, I think it might be over here, it might be a good place. Apris. And here I've got a poultry drone. So let's just take these out of here and get rid of these. This is chicken nuggets, strangely enough, and lots of honeycomb. So now I'm going to put into here this pristine nickel queen. And I think it's not tolerant. Let's remove that out of there. That says it's breeding of 34%. A bit strange. I think that's wrong before. And it's not tolerant for that. So we will put into here a rain shield. Called a seal upgrade in this case, which I can't do because I'm full. Let's put this, dump this step out into here. Because what will happen in here is it will go away and it will get um, the bees themselves will be processed in the analyzer. And the rest of the stuff will end up at the, the base. So it goes into this tesseract here. 
the tesseract from the quarry actually comes in here and we can have a look in this chest so in fact for that matter there's a tesseract over by the bees so you can see what we're getting from the sort that out twice maybe three times I see I'm guessing diamond princesses auric queens few these are the ones which are in that uh, um, those industry laborers on the other side there so get rid of those put those through the processing here I've got 63 diamond comb which is quite a reasonable amount another four emerald cone lots of draconic ore and stuff from the quarry 17 rocky hives Sometimes you also get water hives because it's, uh, it's what's particular one's been done in the water. A lot more different types of comb. As you see, lots of beef and chickens being produced by those so big bad boys, whatever they're called. So let's put into here now these bees. So they will then get sorted, analysed and sorted because it all says here oh, that one's not a known genome. they come into there's actually a bug in the analyzer sometimes it will just keep on producing the same bee time and time again which is a bit of a shame but i thought that i think it's to do when it's got two stacks of 64 bees it seems to see keep going right beside but not always just sometimes but then again if that happens i just put them into that chest and they get they extract the dna from them so in here I've got lots of different bees. In fact, at the moment, I think it's full. So that's why I'm getting these bees going around here. So I probably need to ex take those out. We'll do that another time, though. So what I find quite good fun is we go to the database here, have a look what we've got. So, for example, one of those big bees. I think it might have been the spider. It's got further mutation. No further mutation. The big bad has got one undiscovered species, which I means I can't do it yet. Um, Skulking's got lots, and as you can see here, I've also got, in fact, no more that I can do at the moment because all the ones that I've done are undiscovered. And you can see from here I've got common dro common princesses and skulking drones. Give me porcine, which makes beefy and poultry. So in the base I've got these nuggets. And actually you can make a pie out of those nuggets. Haven't done that yet either. So and here I've got the Demanti. The, these are actually a resulting mutation. So Auric and the Austere produce a Demanti, which of course is diamond. And Esmeranti is emerald. You can see that from products. Every three minutes, four minutes, it produces one emerald shard. Diamante 2.5 produces a diamond shard. And then you simply take the shards. Let's have a look. I don't have any on me, but I do have the, the ones from the diamond uh, princes and princesses and the emerald ones. So I can put, for example, these two in here and the emeralds in here. And I'll probably have to come along and empty this out get rid of that lot. We can actually see what's going on. Oh look, something produced another quartz. See I've got so an add diamond fragment. Another diamond fragment. And when you've got nine you can get uh, in fact every everything every comb has a diamond fragment in it. So that represents sixty four is about seven or eight, isn't it? No, seven. Seven diamonds from one stack of diamond comb. I shall just wait actually till I've got seven, nine, and then create a diamond. Nine. Let's put it onto a scrafting table here, as usual. One diamond. In fact, I'll put that into the chest here. So, right, back to the platinum beast. What I was going to do... This is Nickel Queen. So I've got here the lifespan upgrade to reduce its life. Oops, don't want it to do that yet. So now it's produced 
one drone and one princess. I should remove the automation upgrade while I'm doing this. Fact, I'll do the I'll do that next. But I'll leave that in now because I've just caught it in time. And what we're going to do now is to take these two bees and genetically process them again. So this time I want to put in it the five chromosomes, which was this one. Yes. Not this one actually, it's the other one. One was the fertility in here. So let's go into here and take out the fertility one. I think fertility four and increase the tolerance. That's a good one. So that makes it go fast. Temperature tolerance, humidity tolerance are both two in both directions and fertility is four. So what to do with that, so put these two bees in here because that's um, a pristine princess it doesn't die ignoble can so at least and that at last after quite a lot of work the bees are starting to become actually quite interesting and it's quite good fun going through trying to different combinations today I've just decided I'm going to cheat a bit and use any eye to find that particular type of bee but it still takes quite a lot of time I still got to kill them off and maybe one of the better ways would be to change the lifespan to the shortest and I don't have that right so now these two if I go and analyze those two bees here they will have shorter life that's good for offspring this is what I want because I would like to have a f quite a few of these in order to get the species out of it and that's it. and you need sometimes you I think I've been up to almost 64 drones before I've got the species out so I want to put those back into here don't I and this time I should leave the automation upgrade in I should have taken an hour last time and this is the power consumption from these goes up by 5% I think that's per upgrade so it does actually, this one, a little bit of energy consumption, no pipes involved, so it's quite good. It makes life a lot easier. And here you'll see this, I've got ice, and this was caused by, I think, oh, look, this one's full. I had in here blitz powder. Now I've forgotten in frozen cone which bee produced this. I don't think it's the esoteric bee. Let's have a look. So if let's go to NEI and maybe we can find it from NEI. This one, isn't it? Blitz powder. Pulverizers, transposers, yes, B. So it's a blizzy B. What a shock. And this produces frozen comb. And, it, and the effect of the blizzy B, let's have a look at the blizzy B. We should see him, him, this one. It doesn't tell you, does it? Let's have a look. I think I saw that I put the busy bee over here in. I think is it this chest? No, those are the diamanty ones. And you see here, I've got diamond shards from the, these two bees. Where did I put that other one? Blizzy. I saw Blizzy somewhere. Just forgotten completely where I saw it. Ah, here we are. So I've got three busy drones. And let's take those out of here. And analyze those. So the effect of these is freezing. And its flower type is snow, which is, no, I think, really normal flowers, but it likes to be cold. I've done these, modified these anyway. So there's, this is Wush one generation in captivity for this princess. It's ignoble stock. And because it's ignoble stuff, I've got the genetic stabilizer in there, that uh, chest. So let's hopefully see if we have now got three. Yes, we have. Good. So now I've got some nickel drones. So what we can now do is to go to the next stage and produce 
Um, the Ferris Princess and Nickel Drew should produce an Invar, I think. Yes, there we go. Normally I'd do this, now normally I'd beat these out so I've got enough of them, but today I think we could be able to just do, put the princess, oh that's a queen, I have to get rid of split the queen up into two, let's go and do that first. Oh, this one's a bit full isn't it, let's take, and I've got no space left, let's get rid of some of this stuff, and you can see there's a lot of lightning, and the lightning's all been caused by those bees of course. Occult comb, energetic comb, energetic combs from the excited bee, which is redstone. That's what I've got in here. Lots of wax. Let's get rid of that. And you see the flashes of lightning now. We can actually go and have a look at that again while the bee is actually doing its business. So I don't want the diamond drone. I don't need this. I'll keep the honey for the time being. Right, that's enough out of there. While it's flashing away, let's go and have a look at that again. Wait a few seconds, hopefully we should see one, but it doesn't always happen. Oh, there you go, look at all that. But they're actually not hitting the uh, the mast up here. And know what I did first of all. And this these ha cannot be greater than um, sixty four by six no sixteen by sixteen. So they can't have more than sixty four uh, fences in the in here. But it doesn't seem to work for some reason. Even though it's generating all this lightning. It's actually not getting any power, but that could be just my imagination. Let's drop down fast. I've only got two energetic combs. There we go. Hit by lightning yet again. But I've got my dark armor on, so I'm reasonably safe. And here we have some more spiders. Let's go and sort him out. Another one up there, look at that. That'll be the spider drone. This'll be the big bad. This is the diamond drone. I should change these now and redo the fertilizer, um, fertility on these so they only produce one offspring. Because it's, you get all these combs plus that. There's another one, where's he gone to? I can hear him. Tapping away. Never mind. Let's go back and hopefully this time this queen will have split into two. We've got the princess and the queen. A, a drone, I mean. Um, no, we won't do that until I get rid of these, will it? I need to put the Invar in here. And lifespan upgrade, that's fine. Take away the automation upgrade. Get rid of this stuff that I've got on here in me. Inventory. Some of it I can get rid of because it's a cult comb, tons of it. Redstone, it's already full. And I think each one of these comb produces six redstone. Well, it certainly does for the lapis. But I've got lapis bees as well. Have I got any space for the cult? Yes. Okay, and let's just send the rest of the stuff back to the, to the base that need those to dry. Let's put the bees back in here so I can forget where they are again. Okay. Nickel drones and nickels are working way nicely. And this one's nearly finished. 
So once you've got the nickel, of course, you can you get to about a stack of 64, then you can extract the species. Sometimes you're dead lucky and you get it first time, sometimes it really takes a long time. Oh, it's one in one nugget. How about that? Frozen cumbers from before, I'll take that out of here actually. Have we got any nope, no space for frozen comb. So you've got lots of snowballs. They were coming from the winter bees, I think, producing snowballs. I'll send this back to the base and we'll also send the bliss part back to the base. We don't need that either. Is it done yet? Not quite. In fact it doesn't seem to have moved at all. Seventy six percent. Even with the Lapith pan upgrades on it. It's got plenty of power. Hundred R hundred thousand RF. That's fine. You can see some of these trees have changed as well. They uh, this one's a snowbell. It's lime wood. I don't think I've actually silver lime lime wood silver lime you can if you're lucky and get a sapling you can take the sapling and then have a new type tree type as well which is also quite good fun a bit like breeding bees and the other thing you can also breed is uh, butterflies you can only get those during the day they don't fly at night i'm not sure what the purpose of butterflies is but uh, still stuck at 76 percent why put him out put him in again but we've got two nuggets and honeycomb. All right. I think I probably don't need to show you that, do I? Uh, and that's got the tick. The tick basically means it's it's how oh, that's the wrong one. The tick means it's happy, even though it's at night time. Temperatures normal and humidity is normal. The Invar Queen I didn't analyse because it was just simply the the, Inver, the two before. It takes a while. Don't analyse this one. Let's have a look. Also got a new mouse for Christmas. This one's a lot quieter than the other one, which is which is nice. Yes, Honeycomb and Invite even gets very it's tolerant three offspring. So that's did I just put a I left it in there didn't I? Oh well. Maybe I won't bother looking at it. You know it's like watching cattle boil it takes forever. Okay. Until next time I wish you good evening. Bye for now. <laughs>